I've never been an SNL guy. It's a show that I was aware of when I was a kid. I caught reruns on the comedy channel in Canada of like older episodes. My dad said it was good, but I never had my generation of SNL. And I think because of that, it never got to make the impact it does on a lot of people. I maybe growing up in a small town, my friends had no real interest in that. So I never had that kind of communal experience, but I'm still fascinated at, in SNL as kind of like a cultural object. And when I heard that there was a movie that was going to cover the time leading up to the first show, well, look, I'm interested. And then I read it was directed by Jason Reitman, who I'll be honest, I was a big fan of Thank You For Smoking. And then uh, for me personally, it was a little bit of a case of diminishing returns. I saw all of his films as they came out up until probably Men, Women, and Children. And then I went, oh, you know what? He could keep doing it and it's not something I will be checking out for myself. But this film played at TIFF. I have a TIFF pass. I checked this morning and oh man, a ticket is available. Why not? Let's, you know, maybe it will exceed my expectations. Spoiler alert. It did not. It's, if you've seen the trailer, you know what the movie is. It's kind of like Birdman-esque following driving soundtrack as Lorne Michaels runs around trying to figure out how he's gonna put this show. It's chaos. The show was too long, running three hours in the dress rehearsal. John Belushi is all over the place. He hasn't signed his contract. Chevy Chase, will he get his star making turn? And you know, it's all this little stuff playing out in the background, probably great Easter eggs for people that are big SNL fans that have read the oral histories and stuff like that. But for me, hmm, I thought it was interesting. I think at the beginning, you're thrown right into it. You're giving very little context. That I enjoy. That the drama that is inherent of putting on a show, especially as everything around Warren Michaels goes wrong, that's fun. You, you can get engaged because there is a goal to be hit and the difficulties that need to be overcome are things that are pretty interesting. It gets a little bit shakier as it goes along because the kind of dramatic stakes that it's trying to set up are not really paying off, moving forward to something that he needs to see. And I don't think the film ever communicates that. And because of that, the kind of energy and verve is fun to watch and it's fun to watch all the cameos. Excellent Billy Crystal in this movie and an appearance from Milton Berle doing exactly what you would want with a fictionalized portrayal of Milton Berle doing, uh, you know, there's joy to be had there. But at the end of the day, it's what I was worried about. It's not really enough. And any moment of trying to set up some kind of like dramatic tension or payoffs come off as like a little bit treacly. For example, Gilda Radner watching John Belushi skate before the show and wondering, ah, do you ever like look back in the moment and wonder, is this gonna be one of the big moments in our lives that we'll be looking back on? Or when Lorne Michaels is confronted by the evil chief played by William Defoe, who wants the show to fail and is asked, what is SNL? And then he gives a big speech about like, it's, you know, catching an artist in the corner playing a show or catching, you know, a great comedian, a big star just doing a little club. It's what we all think that the big city is. Now, whether that may be true and that may be one of the reasons that SNL was as successful as it was, I don't think the film ever communicates that. And, you know, maybe that's impossible. That's such a grand thing to do in, like, a movie that's just over 100 minutes. It's impossible. At the end of the day, what this feels like is more like a fan film. That, like, this is for some people who are obsessed with SNL, that want to see all this stuff illustrated on screen, and that they want it, like, kind of realistic enough so you can see moments that you've heard about multiple times from all the different accounts finally play up right there. But for me... I need a little bit more. I wonder like, did it have to be weirder or even less context that there was even more chaos in it is something that could have allowed me to really sink my teeth into a motion picture like that. And that's never really what Jason Reitman was gonna do. That's not really the kind of movies that he makes. But you know, it is what it is. If you're an SNL fan, you'll probably enjoy it. If you're not, you may just think it's okay. But at the end of the day, that's all you're gonna get out of a movie like this.